Hey team, thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I just figured I'd go ahead and go through my March favorites. Yeah, we're going to be in April and so I figured I would go ahead and do my March favorites. I don't have a whole lot. I actually have some items I'm kind of disappointed in that I'll probably share with you um, that are not so favorites uh, that didn't kind of work for me. So I'm going to actually take a drink of my coffee, which Yep, my Pittsburgh Penguins logo. Mm -hmm. Needed a drink. Okay, so let's get started, which as always I like to start with the hair and skincare and then go into the makeup and that. So um, really there's only a couple things I have for my hair and I did do a review on this. Um, it is for the uh, Ultra Light Leave In or Rinse Out Frizz Solution. The uh, Citrus Seal from Beautiful Nutrition. I've done a yeah, full review on this. I'll put the link down below. I won't really get in full detail. But I really love this product. It has really been wonderful for frizz. Okay, so I really everything. like that though for frizz and everything. It's just very, and it makes my hair shiny. Um, and then I haven't used this for a while, and I love using a hair mask. Um, and I do have several hair masks that I do use or have tried. And I do like, and I haven't used this one for a while. It's the one from Carol's Daughter. Um, I don't know if you pronounce it Tui. T U I. It's a moisturizing hair smoothie from Carol's Daughter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, I kind of forgot. It's, it's like one of the products where you haven't used it for a while, and then when you use it, it's like, yeah, that's why I like it. And mm, just, I love the smell. It just seriously smells like bubble gum to me. And if you like bubble gum smell, you'll probably love okay, it. Okay, then for face, let's see. Oh, uh, cleanser. We'll just go with cleanser first. Um, the cleanser, and I'm definitely, I want to repurchase another one. I'm not quite, I'm getting there. It's getting low. But I think, do you pronounce this company? I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right, but it's a um, Boschka? 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 Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm, uh, I know I'm butchering it, uh, but this is the detoxifying uh, black cleanser. And let me just say, I really love, love using this. A lot of times, um, I don't know, like when I get up in the morning, um, kind of feel like I get rid of the, you know, like, even though you wash your face at night and do all that kind of stuff, you know, um, sometimes I just want to be sure that there's that little extra cleanse to it and I just feel like this revitalizes my skin, brightens it a little more and everything. So I really like this stuff. I got mine at HSN, which I know you can get it on their site. I believe Sephora and all that kind of stuff. So um, I might try some of their other products. I've heard good things about them. So uh, my all Mario Badescu. This is an almond and honey non-abrasive face scrub. Uh, been using this again. Oh, just love the smell of this stuff. It really makes my skin nice and smooth and just mm, If you're somebody that loves the almond smell mm, You can just smell that in there and I just I love it. And then some new products that I had purchased when I was in TGI Matt or TG TGI TG Max. What the heck? TG Max? <laughs> TGI? What are they I don't know. Anyway <laughs> um this is a moisturizer. It's the Dead Sea Treatment Aloe Vera Moisturizing Cream. Um, and I got this for like $5.99. And it's, I really like it. It's a really nice moisturizing uh, cream. It's like, um, it, it's pretty thick, but it melts like right, right into your skin, like all of a sudden real fast. Uh, it has like a whipped texture to it, I don't know if you can see. It's just really nice. Smells wonderful. Has a really nice smell. I mean, you know, and it just it melts right into your skin. And I mean, if you can see, I mean, it just melts right in your skin. Uh, definitely. If TJ Maxx has that again, um, I'd repurchase it and for five ninety nine for crying out loud. Heavens, yes, <laughs> it's pretty nice. Um. And this one is the Lift and Firm Collagen and Elastin from uh, Skin Lab Eye Gel. This stuff's been pretty great for for me. I have really liked it. Um, it has like these little 
uh, beads in there too, kind of, but it's a nice eye gel. Really, it's really soothing, really nice. Uh, I, I do feel it does kind of seem to firm and smooth out under my eyes. I mean, I would have no problem with it. And I believe this was $6.99, so I really want to go back to TJ Maxx now and see if I can find some other good uh, skincare goodies. Because then, as you know, I was like trying some, some masks. masks. Um, I had tried the other one, but this one I really like. It's the vitamin C collagen. Um, you know, it revitalizes your skin by giving it an instant lifting effect. And, you know, it just, and it helps brighten. And we, we all need some vitamin C for our skin. So um, I have really been enjoying that. So I really would recommend that. So if they do end up with more of those, I will probably repurchase some of them. Um, then I got the deluxe size when I got from Sephora, this Clinique uh, Repair Wear Sculpting Night Cream. Oh my gosh, this stuff's amazing. As you can see, we're like getting down to the nitty gritty, my husband and I. This stuff is a gel, definite gel. I'll show you the texture there. Um, this is definitely a gel. And it really just instantly, like, just melts right into your skin. It's just, it's insane. But it's just wonderful. I mean, it's just really nice. And it has right, a nice so makeup. Scent. Let's get into makeup, which I'm going to take another sip of my coffee. Oh, yes. Need that. For my makeup, um... I've done a whole review on the Rose Gold and Gilded Gold palettes from Ulta, and I did have a nice time playing with them both. But, like, as I mentioned, the Rose Gold would be the one that I would probably be more prone to because it has more of the pink tones, the purple tones kind of going on there. So, um, just really have enjoyed this palette very much. Uh, the mattes, it really surprised me. Um, how well they blended on really like that. Um, the other palette that I've really been enjoying is my Lorac Unzipped, which I kept the box. I'm like some people, like it's like where you keep the box for a while. It's like that thing where you just can't throw it away. But for me, I don't quite have containers to put my products in. So I think that's kind of why too. Until I get some, I kind of prefer putting some of these kind of things and leaving them in the box. But here's the, um, you know, blushes right here. Uh, it was on my haul. I did the swatches on there. There's a nice bright, pretty bright pink, uh, more of a, like a mauve tone. Uh, this is more of a peach tone, and then that's more of a neutral -y kind of a tone. Uh, just beautiful colors. I have this one on right now, the bright pink on my cheeks. I really, really love that. I'm so glad I got it because I really do enjoy Lorac's blushes. And that's, these are almost the only blushes I've been using for the whole month. I, have to say, because, I mean, maybe there might be a few times I used another blush here and there, but for the most part, I've been using this palette a lot for my blushes. Um, so then, uh, the Ulta Pink Diamond Illuminator, I've been using this a lot, um, for my highlight. If I could get it open, which I guess I have it the wrong way, so that would help. But it's a beautiful illuminator, it's Pink Diamond, um... I won't mind getting the other one though too, I'll, I will admit, but it does have a nice illuminating effect on on and everything, so it's really pretty. Right there it is, you can see it shining there, right there. Oh yeah, notice I painted my nails, wow, can you believe that? Yeah, I did, I seen some other ones doing it like this and making Easter colors and so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. So there's um, that. It's like a rose gold. I mean, I know it says pink diamond, but it looks more rose gold to me. Uh, I actually have been using this a lot. The Wet n Wild um, contouring palette. This here that I just got, and mine's in the uh, Dolce de Liche. De Liche, however you say that. Um, I love this. This is what I've been using to contour and. I've actually used the highlight, this the light side, to set under my eyes even, too, and I have not had no problems whatsoever. Um, I might get the other one, too. I heard there's another one. Uh, whether it be too dark, I don't know, but I'm just going to give it a try because I really like this. And for three bucks, you know, it's 
so I really enjoy that. And then I'm in love, 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 and I will definitely, I might even just grab another one while I'm there. Um, I love my Fergie Take On The Day Mattifying Powder. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. Um, a lot compared to the NARS Reflecting Lights. Um, I had seen, is it is her name Kristen123? I will put her link down below if I can find it. She did a whole review and about this stuff here. Uh, you know, like with the reflecting lights for, you know, compared it to that and didn't really see much of a difference because she has both of them and I've always wanted to try the reflecting lights from NORS, but um, it's kind of pricey. So uh, this, I would highly recommend it. Get the Fergie uh, take on a day if you're interested in that NARS one. I would definitely say get it then. Um, okay, my lippies, which I have the combo on right now. You know me and my peach colors and all that kind of stuff. I've been really loving my bloom here, and this is in the peach poppy. It's a nice uh, peach color, bright peach color. I have that on my lips, along with I have it along with another color. There it is. There, that's the peach poppy. I'm gonna get me more of these bloom. So that's Maybelline Bloom, and then this is Maybelline Elixir. This is in breath take, if I can talk, breathtaking uh, apricot. See, it took my breath away. I couldn't even talk. But that's breathtaking apricot. Oh, God, this color is so gorgeous. So I paired them two kind of like together. There it is, right there. And you know, look at that. That's just so pretty. So I love it. Um, I love these Maybelline elixirs. I really do. I actually love these better than the what was it, L'Oreal? The L'Oreal. Uh, I can't think what they they were called, but I love them better, believe it or not. Um, then I was so excited. I'm going to show two different primers here: the Maybelline New Master Prime uh, Blur and Illuminate. This is called Blur and Illuminate. Okay, and the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This one right here from Rimmel. These are really great primers. I have not had no problem with them. This primer from Rimmel is like a moisturizer primer, it reminds me of. Um, it, it seems like more of a moisturized, kind of moisturizing base to it. Uh, it could have silicone. I don't know. I didn't really fully, you know, read through, but it just, it has that texture. So... Um, and it's been really good, great whenever I, I use it with the Rimmel Foundation. And then the Master Prime, the Illuminating, the Blur and Illuminate. This reminds me of um, Laura Geller's Spackle in Ethereal. If you've ever tried that. If you haven't, you won't know what I'm talking about. But if you've tried it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, it just has that same... Um, same like it goes it, it goes on like that but when you blend it through and you start seeing the um it's so hard to explain but I guess you'd have to see hers or try her ethereal but it kind of reminds me of that probably not as illuminating as that can be but it's there and it's like a hint like that and it's really nice really like this stuff this does feel more of a silicone kind of base like i said i'm not saying rimmel isn't it just feels a little like more of a moisturizer kind of to me so love those and last my loves which i believe that's it for my loves practically is the two these two new foundations that i got i couldn't just pick one because like I was I've been going back and forth with both of them and you know like trying them out and, and giving them the test run kind of thing that you do and I just can't make up my mind which one if I like one better than the other now right now I have the fit me on and just I love it I am so glad I jumped I mean I don't know what took me so stinking long because um, I, I believe this is just a new look is what it says to it. Uh, my shade's in uh, 115 Ivory and it works great for me. And it's the Dewy Smooth. It's not the mattifying one. It's the Dewy Smooth one. But oh my gosh, this is just 
amazing. I, I love it. It says normal to dry. So, I mean, if you have oily skin, I guess it wouldn't work so great and you probably want to go to the mattifying one. But oh my gosh, I love this. This has just been amazing. And it's and the Rimmel shouldn't surprise me neither because I do love the Rimmel Wake Me Up. And I done a review on it a good while back ago. And this the only downside, yeah, no pump in either that's one. That's the only these either downside. One. That's the only downside I can find for myself when I'm using these. And this this also gives you a nice kind of a dewy finish or whatever and it has been really great. Now this one has really full coverage. The Fit Me isn't bad. You, you kind of have to build it up. I would say it's medium to full coverage, but you can, you know, obviously build either one up. This one gives really the good full coverage, but I really love both of them a lot, so I couldn't pick. So I had to just put them both in here. Um, then, okay, now let's go into the hmm, disappointing things that I use that I just, you know, was having high hopes for but didn't really seem to work out. Um, I had done my haul and I got the uh, New York City, these, um, this is the eye primer pencil and then here's the um, eyeshadow in, I think it's like champagne or something like that, 620 uh, in champagne. And I've used this Quite a few times. You probably haven't seen me use it in a video. I mean, when I put it when I put it on my hand here, I mean, yeah, it doesn't go on too too bad. I don't even know if you can really even see it. Um, but it's not it's not even that. I mean, you, you know, I would hope it's. I think it's going to work better for somebody with more younger eyelids. Is the big problem because. You know, like with my eyelids, when I'm when I'm doing it, uh, it kind of pulls a little bit. That's what it's been doing for me. Might not do that for everybody, but that's what it's been doing for me. So, uh, I mean, I'll still use it up to a degree and figure out a way to work with it, maybe. But as you know, it's just it hasn't really, it just really hasn't done anything. And then the same with I use this, this one here primer and then put this on top because you know you'd figure it was supposed to go and work and all and it didn't it just kind of nothing I didn't get anything from it really um I was trying to see on here and it's crazy because like even on here it's a very light hint so I, I think what I'll use this for is but it, it's just very subtle like even there you can see I mean, and I'm pretty fair, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I probably will just use this in the inner corner, maybe. I'll try that kind of stuff, because that's probably the only way I'll be able to use it, really. And then the other thing, I am so ready. I hope my Walmart has my Dove uh, stuff that I spray in my hair to get my tangles out. Because, and this is, it's disappointing because it is Pantene, and Pantene is a great brand name out there. And this is the Moisture Mist, Mist uh, Brume, 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 whatever, Hydrate, and it's a detangler, and my hair is, you know, thick and curly. This hasn't really done anything. I mean, it says light conditioning where you want it. And there's times I'll, I mean, like I pick all different areas in my hair and spritz it and everything and comb through, and it doesn't do the same as the Dove. And it's the Dove detangler. It's like an oil and a water, like you shake it up, and it, I've showed it many times in my favorites. And it's actually cheaper than this, you know. So, um, I, I'm, so I'm hoping they have it because that's the only reason why I got this was because they didn't have it. Um, so this has been a disappointment, and I'm getting down. I mean, I'm using it, but I'm, I'm ready to, for my dove. I miss my dove. So anyway, that is it, I believe, of my favorites and some non-favorites for this month, unfortunately. It's always crappy when you have some non-favorites, but it happens. You know, you're not going to love everything. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, for any new subscribers that have uh, joined me recently, I'm so glad you did. Um, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you to so come and join me and click the subscribe button. And also, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be so much appreciated. And as always, beauties, please remember to 
be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until next time.